Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from Solid Atreus, who wanted the Rigazi in the colors of Saber from Saber Rider and Star Sheriffs, also known as uh, something along the lines of Galaxy Musketeer Bismarck, I think it is. But uh, yeah, so, uh, something like that. And uh, it's a pretty good color scheme. And it actually translated relatively well to the Rigazi at that, so I'm you know, perfectly happy to do that. Haven't run the Rigazi in a while either. I believe we're at 600, so this is probably the level 2. And yeah, Rigazi is still one of the top uh, charge attack raids at uh, 550 and 600. It is very, very powerful. It has a uh, charge attack that launches it very far forward, meaning that it is easy to get yourself back out of trouble sometimes. It also has Shield Break Stance Mastery, if uh, which you just saw, because I did not get stunned by that shield being uh, blown out of my hand at all. So now I'm just trying to get over to that Super Gundam without getting caught, which I think I'm about to do right now, because nobody else is watching. And that Super Gundam just learned a very important lesson about uh, Assault Booster, which is that... Uh, unless that shot had been charged and gotten up to heavy stagger level, you could not have stunned me out of that attack. So, it tackled me, and then that gave me time to reset myself a little bit, and not quite wasn't able to twist myself in the air quite enough, but I did pretty good damage, so it's a start. And Vulcans, please. Yep, got it. And might be able to get this Hyakushiki Kai as well, but I think it's the... I think it's the full Kai and not the MPT. And got it. Okay, yeah, so I at least got two uh, kills for my one death. And it's not one of those rounds where I'm getting stunlocked every three seconds, so that's a lot better than the uh, than the uh, goof round I may or may not have run the previous day. If you didn't see a goof round uh, the previous day, I did not run that because it was just really kind of frustrating. We did not win. We got really close. Somebody got uh, got passive aggressive about it, and it's like I did. I got top score and uh, nine kills and five deaths. I don't know what else you expected me to do. So yeah, just one of those, and I, you know, irritating. But yeah, just last night had some really difficult matches that uh, we kept running into this one group that was really, really very well coordinated and. Uh, just, yeah, kept uh, uh, kept locking us down and uh, steamrolling us, and, you know, they, pl they played really well. They were well-coordinated, good for them, and uh, I stopped early, uh, early Friday night, that being now, because I needed to get some of this done. So, that, uh, I was al already planning to, uh, I was already planning to stop early, and these folks made it easy on me. So, what, what else is there to say? But yeah, 3790 to 3140, we have pulled ahead. I thought it had Shield Break Stance Mastery, but I got stunned there, so... Unless that was like a heavy stagger grade attack that was reduced to a stun by my uh, Shield Break, I don't know. I thought it had been given Shield Break, but I don't remember now. And I have no idea why that Rigazi sat there and let me do that, but yeah, just uh, maybe they were out of boost, or maybe they just tried to start the tackle too late because of latency. Yeah, let's assume the answer is latency, but that Stark Jagan is on the ball and not having any of it. I should never have tried that. But we did at least, uh, you know, I did at least do some damage to the other mobile suit, so that's okay. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, like I said, been a, uh, ah, just a lot of hard rounds this night, so I am, uh, ah. And I'm, like I said, I, I've got some, uh, uh, ah, uh, bleh recording to do here, so hopefully I'll get what I need for at least a chunk of the next week. We'll see. But I think this is going to uh, run on the second. I hope everyone had a happy new year. And again, that depends on what I decide about some other rounds, but charging my heavy, the, and just going to just blindside that super Gundam right there and just murder it because that is what heavy attack raids do to sports. And I can't, I honestly cannot wait to fi uh, find out what they do um, with uh, with supports, because eventually I'm pretty sure they will get some kind of big buff like uh, raids did. But, uh, but no, honestly, uh, the, 
uh, the buff that supports need, and that was an easy pilot kill. The buff that supports need, uh, quite honestly, is just better coordination uh, uh, from their team. Because if it if you're hanging back to do the sniping, and some and a heavy attack raid isolates you, and nobody bothers to answer your distress calls, you're going to die. On the other hand, a raid or a support that is properly you know covered and you know taken care of uh, by its uh, team can do amazing things. And I thought that was a pretty good swing, despite the fact that I had to go through one of my allies for it. I did send sorry because you know it's good manners. And when you knock somebody over with a big swing like that, but yeah, I, I got some damage in. I'll, I may get an assist out of it, and it would be nice. We'll see. But yeah, um, two minutes left. We've got about a three thousand point lead now, which is nice. But yeah, I man, I haven't actually run the Regazi in a while. This may be the first time I uh, ran it since it got the you know supposed nerfs that it was given because. Basically, what they really probably needed to do if they were going to nerf it is reduce the power of the heavy attack, and what they did was everything but. They they kind of, they, they kind of tend to do that sometimes with their uh, with their adjustments. Is that whatever like the biggest issue, uh, whatever the uh, biggest issue with the suit is, is what they built the suit to do in the first place. So they're kind of you know reticent to actually correct that because that would mean what's the point of the suit and I get that but at the same time it's just yeah the uh, the Regazi's problem was too much uh, uh, too much damage out of the heavy attacks against supports there are things I'm pretty sure it can one shot at uh, here at uh, 600 and yeah it, it needed something to uh, fix that to be honest um, it would be I'm sure it would be a frustrating uh, adjustment to uh, the, uh, the raid players uh, in a lot of ways, but I feel like possibly if we need if heavy attack raids need addressed and they kind of do because we now have one with full stealth, um, it would be like basically treating them like support fire and saying this attack cannot uh, reduce an enemy uh, raid below one hit point. Just that means somebody else might scoop up the kill. Or they'd have to do something to follow up, which means diving in and getting the kill would become harder. And that, you know, was a po would be a possibility. I think, okay, I did graze that, good. Somebody else got the kill, but I did hit it, that's good. But yeah, it's just, I'm sure there's things that can be done, and I'm sure ultimately when they figure out the best course of action, they'll do it. But, yeah, if you have any ideas to how to make supports a little more survivable in the face of things like the Riga Z... Uh, always happy to hear ideas, but yeah, it's just a, you know, the, the two best things I've come up with uh, over time have been, uh, oh yeah, 106,000 damage, 4675 points, uh, top diversions and top assist. Yeah, I'll take that. But, uh, six and four is decent. Yeah, that'll do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! But no, the two things I've thought about that could possibly work for uh, uh, heavy attack raids is the not not cannot reduce enemy below one hit point thing, and possibly also just the ability to of raids or of supports to increase their defense uh, their melee defense further than other classes of mobile suit, like you know just maybe give each uh, uh, each type of suit like one defense quality that can go up above 50 you know maybe to 60 something like that just to give it a little bit more of an edge you know and supports get uh, uh get above 50 melee uh defense uh raids uh, uh beam and uh or actually raids you know could go very specific if you wanted to buff them anymore do uh, like counter tackle uh defense specifically and then have, uh, you know, generals get something uh, slightly different, like maybe just a little bit more ballistic defense to deal with, like, the long range, longest range supports, which tend to have ballistic weapons uh, most often. The tanks, things like that. But I don't know. Uh, it's just... It's... 
it's a weird thing to have to try and rebalance because it's rebalancing just a, a full third of the game, basically. And I, I both appreciate that they go back and look at things like this frequently and do not envy them having to figure out how to make this all work. 